Hey man, good evening. Welcome to New Testament Christian Church of Albuquerque's Bible Study. It's great to be in the house of the Lord. I hope you had a great day in the Lord. And uh, we're grateful for what God is doing in our midst. We had an awesome time. We had a visit to El Paso, Texas. We went for a, a, a memorial service. A homegoing service. Come on, it was it was a Christian man, man of God who is uh, who's God yes. on to be with God. <laughs> you want your boy or no? Okay. okay. He, but it was a great time, and then we had an even better time with the family of God. We had church in El Paso with the Mayos and their congregation and. God was just there. We had a great time. But you know, the same God that was there in El Paso is here with us tonight. And God knows what we have need of. And so I came expecting. And my prayer is that you did as well. Sister Renee, would you pray for our Bible study, please? You got to pray louder, sister. You're praying for everybody. Yes, Jesus. So what you will have us to learn about you, Lord, and I ask you to, to bless the children that are here today, Lord, God, yes, that their, Jesus. their ears will be open and their hearts will be accepted to what you, you have for us, and I just thank you, bless the messenger, bless the message in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. amen. Tonight we're going to deal with or discuss unity in the spirit. Brothers and sisters, I don't care what the world says. We are not enemies one against another. Thank you, brother. We are all on the same team. But, but they don't go to our church. Are they Christians? Are they serving God? Come Maybe on. You don't know. Well, you don't know. But we know that the spirit of God is the spirit of truth. Amen. And you can tell. He said you can tell. Let them know. They'll see that we're Christians by our love. Mm -hmm. Let our life show that. Amen. And I, I just don't, I just don't like that spirit of the world that's going on right now. Right. The United States of America can take the U out of it now, because yeah. they're just bickering. Everybody is. Well, I'm a Democrat. I'm a Republican. I'm a Southerner. I'm a Northerner. I'm a cut it out. Amen. We belong to the United States of America. That's it. <laughs> Well, God says definitely that shouldn't be happening in the house of God. Yes. So tonight in Ephesians chapter 4, we're going to talk about some of that. We're going to go around. God's got some stuff, some different, different parts of the Bible. But I want to start off here in Ephesians chapter 4. I'm going to read verses 3 through 6. Ephesians 4, 3 through 6 says... Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Mm -hmm. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and father of all who is above all and through all and in you all. God said, let's, let's cut out all this foolishness. There's, there's, there's no reason for us to think, well, uh, I'm a Paul, I'm a Apollos, I'm a this, I, I go to Pastor Hicks' church, you're not saved if you don't do this, if you don't do... There's only one God. That's right. yeah. There's only one church. Yes. Believe it or not, there's only one heaven. Amen. Yes. And if you want to go to God's heaven, you got to be in the body of Christ. Amen. Yeah. There's one Christ in whom all believers hope. We all have our hope fixed in Christ. All right. Some people get it twisted. Yep. Mm -hmm. Their hope is in their pastor. Their hope is in uh, their spiritual leader mm -hmm. or, or the, the, their friend that led them to the cross. But if that person fails, then their hope fails. 
Well, but that's why we have to look unto Jesus. On, we can't look unto the things of the world. We, we shouldn't look anywhere else. We got to focus on Christ and be like Christ. Because when we're in Christ, we're in the place we ought to be. God knows. He wants us to understand that in all of our faith, the object of everything that we're doing should be in one accord with him. Amen. Amen. So I can't say, I love Renee, but I don't like Arthur. <laughs> Remember, their, their two fleshes became one when they got married. Amen. So if you love Reverend Tensio, you got to love Reverend Sister Tensio oh, too. Amen. Listen, even if they're not a Christian, because I'm a Christian, Amen. I have to love them. Because I want to go to heaven. Amen. That's right. He wants us to build on this unity. He Amen. wants us to understand that the Holy Spirit plays a role in each of our lives. And it's the Holy Spirit that unites us, that draws us closer together, that helps us to live together Amen. in harmony. Like I said, there's a lot of people that I love, but a lot of people I don't want to live with. All right, <laughs> God didn't say we have to live with them. He said we have to love them. Amen. All right? And, and, and there's a difference. People, people think, well, oh, I just let them abuse me because, you know, that's not what God is saying. All right, <laughs> God wants us to love them Amen. when yeah. they walk in unity with Christ. That's right. He wants us to understand that. Paul's trying to break us to understand there's only one body. Yes. And I want you to further understand that unity does not just happen. All right. We got to work at it. Mm -hmm. How do you work at unity? I put up with Brother Arthur as long as I could. That's it. It's over. <laughs> Woo, 15 minutes. That's the best I can make. <laughs> we got to keep praying. We got to keep praying. We got to realize that everybody's different. But Christ is the same. All of us have different tastes, different preferences. I prefer to live with Sister Hicks. I'm good. I'm good. That's good. That's good enough. I'm great. I love you all, but you live with your wife. <laughs> But we do, we work together as a team, though, because we're serving God. God wants us to understand this. And, and, and the more as, as I was reading it and putting this together, the world doesn't like that we want to be this kind of united. The world doesn't like that we could go to El Paso and meet complete strangers, but they're in Christ. And they love on us like they yeah. just saw us last week, like they've known us for all their life. Why? Because of that unity of the spirit. And, and the spirit in me is loving on the spirit that is in them. And, and we just immediately got a bond. Yeah. Amen. We're looking forward to it. There's a fellowship meeting coming in El Paso. Okay. Not that long. When is it, Sister Six? March the 5th. March the 5th. A short drive, three hours, three, all right, four hours. Four hours, so go for you. Small thing to a giant. Jump in the car, pew. Let's go have a good, let's go fill up their sanctuary. Let's blow it up. It's going to be a, I'm telling you, it's going to be awesome. There we go. Because I know I got some friends I'm looking forward to seeing when I get back. Amen. Amen. That's good. Let's go to uh, Galatians. Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3, read verse 28. Who's got it? Who's ready? All right, Sister Tamara, go ahead. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. What do you get out of that? Just reading that verse, taking that verse right there. We are all his, and we all are one together because we are his creation. Right. Now put it in a practical term. 
How many times? I'm just going to go out and say it. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Sister Tamara, you're black. Yeah. Um, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I All right. I'm just making sure you know. You're black and you're a female. Yeah, yeah. That, that happens to me. All right? <laughs> Sometimes in the world, some people will consider that a strike against you. So now with that in mind, what does that text give you? Two strikes. <laughs> it gives her hope, she says. Ken says, two strikes against you. <laughs> in the world. Really, in the world. But in God, he says, Come on. there's no difference. Amen. We're all people. That's right. All souls in need of him. Amen. He said there's neither Jew, nor Greek, nor bond, nor free, male, nor female. I don't care. We're all the same in Christ Jesus. And this is a hard thing for people to grasp. The Jewish males greeted each other daily saying, thank God we're not Gentiles. Yep. Thank God we're not just, woo, thank God he chose us. Yep. But don't you know, he chose all of us. Amen. He says, I'm not willing that any should perish. Amen. Brothers and sisters, because we got Amen. saved, we don't have any bragging rights, and we don't have the corner on Jesus. No person. Yes, sir. All races, creeds, colors. Yes, sir. He says when we get to heaven, it's going to be every color, Amen. every nation, Amen. every tongue. Amen. Go ahead, sister. I don't. I think it's not expressed a lot in church. That's why a lot of the um, it's kind of a topic that a lot of pastors or preachers don't want to talk about because of it going into a whole family dynamic kind of thing. So you know, being a, the racial divide yeah, you're talking the, about. The racial, the racial division because in our own homes, me being an Apple, being a Native American, mm -hmm. I was taught custom growing up so when I became a Christian I had to unlearn yes, what was taught mm -hmm. to me for to my people for generations yes. Yes. Culture. in a culture yeah right. so you have to learn the difference between what's cultural and let that the world the world teaching of culture yes. go and become Amen. part a of Christian. Jesus culture <laughs> Amen Sister Renee you needed the mic for that so that everybody could have got that but that was good she, she shared how that no matter what culturally you were raised yeah. under, when you become a Christian, yeah. when you become a child of God, you realize the difference. It's not about my national pride. It's not about my, she's a Navajo. It's not about her being a Navajo. She's not denouncing it, but at the same time, she has no reason to shout about it. Yeah. Right. What she's really happy about is that I'm a Christian. Yeah. You had something you wanted to say, brother? Yeah, I was just gonna say, uh... God shows no partiality. That's he right. Loves yes. He loves, us all the same. he loves us all the same. This is the hardest thing for the church to understand. You know, even here in the United States, for lots of years, there were two different churches. There was the white church and the black church. And it's sadly still like that. And it's still like that in some people's lives, in their minds. But God says, that should be long gone. Oh, yeah. That mentality should have been washed away when you got Amen. saved. Amen. You should recognize that, wait a minute, that's my sister. That's my brother. When we get to heaven, I'm not going to say, oh, we weren't allowed to worship with them. Mm -hmm. They were. They were black. Somebody, somebody uh, when I came to my first trip to New, to New Mexico, I was in Artesia, a long way from home. A long way from home, a long way from, you know, there's no, no, no black folks in, the, in New Mexico. Very li little in Artesia, but I was on a law enforcement training facility, so there was a lot of black people there. It wasn't about that, but I wanted to have church. Amen. And I found a church, and they loved on me, and they helped me in my time of need away from my church home. I mean, no, you want to you want to be where the people of God are. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Well, they loved on me and they kept me and they and they fed me. They they fed me spiritually and they inspired me and it was a blessing to me. Yes. 
And some of the people on the base were looking and saying, where do you go on a Sunday? Mm -hmm. I see you put on your suit and you go, where are you going? I said, I'm going to church. Where did you find a black church? Oh, <laughs> In Artesia. I wasn't looking for a black church. I was looking for the house of God. Amen. When you're looking for the house of God, you're going to find. That's what, that's what we're united to. I'm not united to the black church. I'm not united to my brothers. I'm united to Christ. All right. And that unites me to everybody. Yes. That's right. That's in the body of Christ. Yeah. He says it's not, it's not about being Jew nor Greek, bond nor free. You can't look down on somebody because, oh, they're just a servant. But are they a child of God? Amen. She's just a maid. <laughs> hey, 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 and you missed the spot. <laughs> God says, that's a child of the king. Amen. Who are we to look down on that? Amen. That's causing division. That's, that's, come on. We can't look down on anybody. But for the grace of God. That's right. But for the grace of God. No respect to person. He's not. He's not. Paul's trying to bring, bring out that the Holy Spirit is only one spirit. And he dwells in every believer. The same spirit. Remember we talked about the same power that rose Amen. Jesus from the grave Amen. lives in us. Yes. He's not a different spirit. Yes. No. He's not going to tell you to do something different. It's the spirit of God that rose Jesus from the grave that is inspiring you and I. That brought you to the house of God tonight. Amen. Amen. Go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Verse 19. 1 Corinthians 6, 19. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? All right, Arthur, go ahead, read it. Do you not know that your body, bodies are mm -hmm. temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. Amen. Wow. Did you read it? Wow, no, that's good, 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 good. Yeah. I like how Paul said, he said, What? <laughs> mm -hmm. What? Know ye not that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you? Which ye have of God and ye are not your own? Man, this, this ties into our message tomorrow morning. You guys get a preview of the message tomorrow morning. When we got saved, we died to sin. Isn't that right? Yeah. When we got saved, we died to sin. Right. We were no longer the same person. We became a new creature in Christ. And he says, now, because of that, we owe it all to Jesus. Amen. It's not my life, but his. Yes. I died, and now Christ is living in me. Amen. Here, Paul is saying, our bodies belong to God. God's spirit is now living in us, and his spirit wants to commune with other believers. His spirit wants to invite those that are lost. Yep. So, so how do we think that we can go and say, oh, well, well, she's not black, she's not white, or, or she didn't go to my church. I can't fellowship with them. What? Paul said, have you lost your mind? Don't you know the spirit that is in you is not just you, but the Holy Spirit of God, which you got from God? That's who redeemed you and bought you out of sin. He says, and now you're not your own. You belong to God. God can use you any which way he wants. Thank God he uses us. Thank God he uses us. Sister Hicks, you got a long read. First Corinthians chapter 12, 1 through 6. First Corinthians 1, 12, 1 through 6. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Wherefore I give you to understand. 
that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus a curse, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. Mm -hmm. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah. All right, Sister Hicks. Um, we have, um, God has given, given us different talents, so to speak, different gifts mm -hmm. that we have. And, um, but though they may be different, they're all given by the same spirit. He's Amen. the one that's enabling us yes. to do what we're able to do to do what we are able to do. So um no one is mm -hmm. better than than, yeah, than the other because Amen. That's right. God has given us um the own talent. The same spirit. Yep. <laughs> Like, like she sings good. I can't sing like you. <laughs> so he said that's a, that's a sister Hicks talent. But thank God. But we can all raise our hands and praise God. Yeah. I like what he brought out here. He says, "Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Ye were the ones that they didn't even like. Ye were the ones that were rejected by the so-called church." We all were sinners. We all were lost and on our way to hell. But God, by his Holy Spirit, called us out of darkness. And now that our eyes are open, who are we to look down on somebody else? Who are we to say, oh, not, he, he didn't die for you. you. You can't be saved. Or who are we to bicker with one another? Brother brought out, well, Sister Hicks can sing and I can't. So does that mean you don't, you, you have a right to sit and be angry with her or bitter with her or, or something? He said, listen, we all got the same. Amen. But God blesses some of us differently. Yes. I'm glad that God uses us. In different ways. I'm glad, you know, he, I'm glad he uses us in different ways. God gave me patience. And God gave me my wife. And God gave my wife different. She has a patience to put up with Pastor Hicks. <laughs> Who does that but God? <laughs> you know? You really, I mean, really, you have to look at it. Each of us have a different strength. We have, each of us have a different superpower. Everybody's not Iron Man. Everybody's not Spider-Man. But all of us are Christians in God. That's right. And all of us have the ability to call on the one who's able to give us the answer. To give us the relief that we have need of. Mm -hmm. like Paul wants us to understand that. Come on. We're different, but we're the same. We're different perhaps in, per in, 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 in abilities, right. but the same in purpose. All of our purpose is to serve God. That's right. And to get to heaven. To be a witness and to lead men and women out of darkness. The spiritual gifts are given to us by the Holy Spirit. Our spiritual abilities to use to minister to the needs. Check this out. Of the body. God blessed her with the ability to sing. But her singing isn't for her glory. It's for the glory of God. For the edifying of the body. So when we come to church as the body together, we're edified, we're refreshed, we're, we're encouraged, we're reminded. Thank God that I got a brother. Thank God I got a sister. Thank God there's a sister that can play the piano. There's a brother that can lead us. There's a Come on, thank God. We, together, we're making an awesome team. Amen. Don't you know divided will fall? Oh, yeah. Big time. Anyone, I mean, no one can claim to speak for God mm -mm. unless God sent him. Yep. Now there are false teachers that will do it all the time. God told me to tell you <laughs> give me a thousand dollars and he's going to bless you. Oh. How's he going to bless me? I don't know but just give me a thousand dollars. That's not of God. <laughs> what you got brother? I was just going to say it encourages me when I see 
other believers using their gifts for the glory of God. Amen. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes you think, well, I don't do much. What do you do? Well, you know, I'm, I'm responsible for taking out the trash. I'm, I'm responsible for uh, making sure the chairs are straight after church. And I don't do much in the church. It may not look like much. But you're, God but you're doing God what God wants you to do. Amen. Go ahead, sister. And you know, you saying that, I think recently you were preaching about, you know, folks that don't go to church. I, I just have my church at home. Yes. If you just stay at home, how are you being? If you have a talent, what are you going to do with it? What are you sharing? What gift are you sharing? Right. It, sister brought out that if you stay at home, mm -hmm. And you say, well, I, I, I worship God in my living room. I, I got God on the inside. Me and God, we got this thing. But the body is not being edified by it. We need you. <laughs> Just like you need us. We, we need the fellowship. We need this. We need to be able to look at one another and enjoy and, and see God's blessing. See how God, come on, we got Brother Ken right here. Yep. A miracle. Walking in the flesh. Yes. Mm -hmm. The doctor said, I, we don't know. This is it. But God. Amen. A year later. But God. Amen. Ain't God good? Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on, listen. Verse 6. God is completely involved in giving and using and empowering of our gifts. Specific gifts. Places of service. Activities. God puts people in place. To edify the body that the church will be stronger, that we'll be more productive, that his word has a greater effect in people's lives. Yeah. Amen. We need each other. Yes. We can't ever get to the place where we say, ah, pff, I don't care if she don't come. <clears throat> That's like saying, I don't need my pinky finger. <clears throat> right up until you try to put your baseball glove on and, <clears throat> you know, you need that. <laughs> You know, I mean, sometimes you, you sometimes we just take things for granted. We take it for granted and we just reach and grab it. And it's like, oh, man, something's missing. All right, brother Ken, go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Chapter 12, read 12 through 18, please. body is a unit, though it is made up of many parts, and though all of its parts are many, they form one body. Yes. So it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one spirit into one body, whether Jew or Greek, slave or free, and we were all given one spirit to drink. Now the body is not made up of one part, but of many. If the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, it would not, it would not for that reason cease to be a part of the body. <laughs> and if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body, it would not be for that reason cease to be a part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has arranged the parts of the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. Amen. They were all Amen. one part. Amen. Where oh, yeah. would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. We are all one. That's right. Believe it or not, I don't have the gifts that Reverend Atencio has, in particular. You know? But could you imagine if everybody in the church was just like Brother Hicks? Mm -mm. Be a scary place. <laughs> we get on each other's nerves. Can you just sit down? Calm, chill down a little bit. Calm down some of that bubbly. <laughs> there is another food than cheeseburgers, okay? I don't know why you would eat it, but I heard that there is. <laughs> God wants us to know we're all different, but we all have a purpose. Yes, right. And I'm grateful that we're not all the same. No. That could only take one Renee right there. <laughs> that's all I can handle. Oh, my mom said. <laughs> she said, that's what my mom said, too. Just one Renee. That's it. That's enough. I'm good. 
Hey, if you meet you. One sister Tessie, y'all. Oh, I don't know how many Jasmines I can handle. I don't know. How many Jasmines can we handle? Um. Ah, just one is good enough. <laughs> Paul compares the body of Christ to our physical human body. Each part has a specific function. And like I said, brothers and sisters, when you aren't here, it's not just like, ah, oh, that's all right. Ah, oh, we don't care. That's my sister's not here. That one who, who likes to sing the loudest, or that one who claps, or that one who smiles, or who, who greets everybody when comes. Come on. A part of us is missing. Amen. We can't just blow it off, nor should we act as if uh, it's just disposable. And we have to get that mentality straight in our, in our understanding that we are all together. We are all in this together. And we need each other. Each of us are different. All right. mm -hmm. Mark brought out, hey, Sister Hicks sings. I don't sing well. Mm -mm. But I get up there and I clap and I bounce out what I got. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. God is good. <laughs> It don't matter. But we're edified when we all come together. And that we need that unity. We need to realize everybody can't be the eye. Everybody can't be the ear. Well, I'm going to be just like Pastor Hicks. You better be like Jesus. You better be like Jesus. Because Jesus... He loved everybody. Come on. Yeah. He healed the sick and he raised the dead. Yeah. He prayed for those who were in need. Mm -hmm. Come on. He stopped. He got down and helped. He did. Uh, come on. That's what God wants us to realize. Each of us has a unique a, a strength, a unique ability. Don't let anybody rob you of that. Don't let anybody take that joy from you. Oh, yeah. The church is composed of many types of people from a variety of backgrounds with a multitude of gifts and abilities. And it's easy for these differences to divide people, as was the case in, in Korah. You know, they're, they're not even Jews. Why, why, why do we have to? I'm not talking to them. They're not even allowed in the synagogue. Those Gentiles, y'all stand outside. Maybe y'all can hear something. Paul said, come on. Remember they were saying, well, I'm a Paul and I'm of Apollos and I'm the, he said, wait a minute. Is God divided? Is the church divided? Mm -mm. We're Christians, brother. Amen. Amen. Well, they don't go to New Testament Christian church. Do they believe in Jesus Christ? Amen. Have they been washed in the blood? I don't care the name. Mm -mm. When you get to heaven, God's not going to say, did you go to the New Testament Christian church? Mm -hmm. What? Get him out of here. <laughs> Perpetrator. He's going to ask you, were you washed in the blood? Amen. Did the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, because that's what drew us. Yes. The Holy Spirit is what unites us and it what brings us to Christ. Yeah. We're different from each other, mm -hmm. but we have the same spirit dwelling in us. Yeah. The same spirit of love, that same spirit of compassion that requires us mm -hmm. to look on each of us differently and realize, I love her too, and I love him. I love JP. He's not even from America. <laughs> I love him anyway, though. He's, he's Canadian. What is that? Yeah, there's only one creator. There's only one creator, yeah, yeah, amen? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't get stamped on there. Canadian. Oh, okay, he's not American. Get him out of here. <laughs> he was made by the same God. And the same spirit that lives in you mm -hmm. is living in him. Amen. So whether you like it or not, yep. God says we have to love him like Christ loved you. Amen. 
And he loves each and every one of us. Yes, yes, Lord. What about the children? God loves the children especially. Yes, That's right. The children are God. They're children. They're his children. And you know, sir, uh, though the Gentiles weren't able to go into the temple, they eventually were able to go into the synagogue. And that's how they become converts. Now. Yes, amen. Amen. And be considered, once they were converts, they were yeah. considered Jews. Amen. But I want you to think about it. Remember when God was opening Peter's eye mm -hmm. to understand that I'm not a respecter of persons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used the Jews, but this was a template for them to understand that God can call people out. Mm -hmm. God can call you out wherever you are. Mm -hmm. He can call you Jasmine. Say, I know you live on the res. I know you're living with your auntie and all that. But I got something for you to do. I'm talking to you, Jasmine. And you're like, I'm not a Jew. Mm -hmm. why, why would God talk to me? Doesn't matter why you are. Listen, God is not a respecter of persons. Like he loves Jesus. each one. Yeah. Say it again. Just like Jehu. Yes. He used Jehu to chase Jezebel. Yes. Yeah. So, like, he, doesn't, he doesn't care. He'll use you. What your, what your background is. What your beliefs are. Yeah. But wouldn't it be great to just fully surrender and let that spirit of God take over you yeah. and help you to realize I'm in the family of God. Yeah. And now that I'm united with him, I'm united with my church and I don't have any reason to bicker. I don't have any reason to talk down or talk bad about because we are united yes. That's right. in purpose Amen. and a desire to go to heaven. Reverend Tissio, would you dismiss us in prayer, please? Father, we thank you for your yeah. word and the setting of your heart tonight. I ask that you hide it in our hearts, Lord, that in Christ we break all these yes, Jesus. And we are one. And God, we thank you, God, for your deliverance. We thank you Continue to bring all people in Christ. In Jesus' name, bring us back to the point of services. And we give you all the glory and all the praise. Amen. 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 God bless you as our prayer. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. Let's have church. The message tomorrow is, you got to die. <laughs> you got to die. God bless you. All right, brother.